Hey folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to the long dark. So we slept the night. We've sort of found everything there is to find in here. We've got a mountaineering rope down here in the basement that I'm still unsure about. I want to just go and grab that bit of water down there because we're getting quite low on water at the moment now. We've uh, I've been drinking it and we've actually lowered down. But you can see I can't carry a five kilo mountaineering rope. Right? Uh, so I've, I've got I'm, I'm at my limit anyway. So I, I, I can't really justify carrying this rope around. I, can, I can't really justify carrying anything else at all whatsoever. But I figured I'd give it a go. We'll see what we can do. And you know, maybe, just maybe, it will work. I've already dumped a whole load of stuff down here, including some valuable antiseptic and things like that. But it'll probably be okay. i got more food over there. Food, I'm just... Look, we got summit sodas there. Excellent. These will be good. And, and we got more granola bars. I just can't bring myself to leave this stuff behind. Look, it's it's food. I'm gonna I'm gonna need it. Condensed milk, salty crackers. I'll leave the crackers. I'll leave the crackers. How's that? So we'll extinguish the light. Put that one away a minute, and I will just have a, we'll have a bit to eat. Just all let's go in here and right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in this side and I'm gonna eat the some of these here. We got a load of beef jerky right here, so. I'll eat some of that. That will also that lowers down by eating the salty food. It lowers down our um, water lev levels. So I do that, and then I drink a little bit of water, and it lowers our weight just a teensy little bit faster. These are quite poor in quality. There's that one, and that's eighteen. That's forty-eight percent. I'll have that one there at eighteen percent. It's probably going to take my. It's going to take my water all the way to maximum. So we slightly wasted a little bit of it. I think it's still going to be okay. And then we can step outside. So, wolves. Wolf struggle could be the end of your journey. Yes. We know that. We also know there are wolves out here. And we have been attacked multiple times by wolves out here. Wolf is on its way. I can hear it. Oh, it's over there. It's that one. Coming towards us. There's another one over there. He's going to run away when I shoot the flare gun. Yeah, it is that one. Should I get the rifle or should I just use the flare gun? I'm going to use the flare gun. Use the flare gun. We've shot this one twice. Wait for it. There. Right, that was... I didn't time that properly. I think maybe I should have waited until he got a little bit closer. Let's reload. Let's reload. There, he's, he's gone off running around. There's the other wolf over there. He's gone back over the other side. Now, I've taken a couple of shots at that one with the rifle. We used up the entire rifle cleaning kit. <laughs> Look at him running around over there, carrying our flare with us. No, with him, rather. Looks like a new day is dawning. Yes, it is. Is that going to scare the other wolf? Apparently not. Right, we'll leave that there a minute. And I've got this rope. And what I was hoping for with the rope is that we would be able to use it to lower ourselves down over the edge. And that's the only reason I've got this rope here. If it doesn't work, I'm if, if there's nowhere that we can fasten it... I'm going to leave the rope behind. It doesn't appear to be any place here. Uh, there are wolves everywhere around here. You know what? I'm going to go step back inside a minute and I'm going to leave the rope behind. And then I will... We'll, we'll, we'll go back out the way we came in. Rather, rather than trying to take any chances... We'll just do it like that. So let's go back in here. Open the door. We can leave the rope on the floor. We know where it is. We can always come back and find it. I hope. I really hope we can. Uh, let's go to you. And where is this rope? There. That one right there. Drop. 
Okay. I'm still overweight. Still actually overweight by half a kilo. I've now got this tour. I've got this flashlight that I'm carting around. I've got extra fuel that I'm carting around. Um, things like the peaches right here. They take up this half a kilo, that is. Right, we're going to have to leave behind some food. I'm going to leave behind a little cache of food right here. If I go to my food, there I've got... Well, I've got half a kilo of coal. Right, I don't need that, do I? So that's put, that's put me back under weight. I can take my food with me now. That's put me back into the correct weight. And we'll be using coal and stuff like that when we get to the next place. Look out here. Well, I don't hear any more wolves. I got one over there. Where's the one we shot? Let's leave him behind. Let's not worry about him. We need to make it all the way back round. We got it, so we got to go down the side over here. There doesn't appear to be an easy way to put a rope up or anything like that, so we won't worry about that for a minute. Um, we need to go back to the maintenance yard and use the forge down there, along with some scrap iron and stuff, and reforge the spear anew. And then we want to get back to the trapper. Not sure how long that's going to take. I'm kind of like I'm enjoying advancing the story along. And it's great and all. But I'm also very aware of the fact that once I do... Oops. That's the one we already shot. Pretty sure that's the one we already shot. Load it back up again. It's a good job I noticed him. It's a very good job I noticed him. Whoa. Uh, right. Don't get panicky when you're aiming, because otherwise that happens. He could he could have lunged at me then and attacked me, and I wouldn't have been able to do anything about it. Um, chapter three. I don't know when chapter three is going to be written, or when when it's going to be released. And I thought it was going to be like January, February time, but then we've had this one done instead, so it is going to be later. How much later? I'm not really sure. So I don't know when the next one's going to come out, and it's going to—I'm I'm, going to feel sort of empty and bereft. It's going to be a void in my life where I don't have the story mode. Yes, we can go back to survival and we can do a little bit more with the survival bits, but it's not going to be the same, is it? It's not going to be the same. And I also quite like being able to explore the areas without knowing them first. You know, going into the survival, we, we explored that one area where the trapper is, and I already knew all the, the like, the, the safe bits and the safe zones and places we could go and the places we should avoid. And it didn't spoil the experience for me, but it certainly didn't improve it, I don't think. And I kind of like this idea of exploring the zones with the story mode and then moving to survival in those same zones later on. I mean, I... I, I don't know. Give, give me some views and opinions on that. I might just play the story mode on this one and um, and then we stop playing. We take a break until the next story mode comes out because I'm loving the story mode. I'm absolutely loving this. It is it's really well done. And I've heard reports that, you know, the original story mode was... The original story mode was pretty good. Uh, but the the Redux versions of it is so much better. It's like it's it's like a com it's completely different. It's a, a a vastly improved experience, and we know that they did do a lot of work into improving it. We're gonna try and find the um, forest orca supply cache up there, uh, even though we we technically can't really carry it. We don't have the weight, but we, we'll have a go. There's a. A lookout over there, a lookout shelter. I'm going to head over to that lookout shelter. I've got a deer on the lake over there. I could just try and shoot that one. Not with the flare gun, obviously. We'd need to get a little bit closer to do it with the flare gun. But we could try and shoot it with the rifle. A 
I've never tried shooting deer yet. Maybe some other time. We won't worry about that right now. I got loads of food, so I'm not going to worry about taking anything else either. I am... Going to be on the lookout for... Oh, we've got a snare there. Okay. I see no reason to pick it up. I got so much stuff. I see no actual reason to pick it up. This... No. Oh, yeah. Rifle. Now, apparently... If I go like this... Crouching down. I've got a better chance... We all know that I am not a good shot. And that doesn't make it any easier. Hold still. Come on. I did it! I actually took it down. Where's the wolves? The wolves are going to come running. The packs of wolves are going to be here any second. I actually took down some big game. There he is. Look. Uh, I can... Wow. Ten kilos of meat I can take off of that one. And I'm not taking any of it. I'm not taking trophies. I'm not taking the ten kilos of meat. I'm just leaving it lying in the snow. How long would it take me to harvest 10 kilos of meat? If I look at that. Go all the way up to full 10 kilos of meat. How long would it take me to harvest that? Two and a half hours. Five hours. Like two and a half hours to harvest the 10 kilos of meat. And then I could just leave it lying somewhere in the snow. And apparently it just leaves it safe. There's no point. There's absolutely no point so let's go back to this one and we use this one as our protection so yeah we we wait we've wasted 10 kilos of meat i do actually feel bad about that you know, i i'm not the sort of person to go trophy hunting i don't like the idea of trophy hunting at all and if i've i've been hunting i've just never been hunting with guns i we, we go hunting with um ferrets and nets you have ferrets, you put nets so Oh, there's a, a wolf up there. Should I take him out with the rifle or should I take him out with this? I'll take him out with this. Come here, wolfy boy. Where are you? Oh, there. No! Ah! Oh! No, 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> no! I was supposed to shoot the lacerations, afflictions, torn clothing. No! Where's he gone? I don't even see where he went. Let's get some first aid. A wolf bite to the neck. Ah! Wolf bite to the neck. Um... Sprained ankle? No, no. Uh, I need painkillers. There. Antibiotics, antibiotics. Painkillers. Use. And then... No, 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 no. Use, use. Oops. Gun, where is he? Right. Should be okay if that wolf comes back this way. I want to take him out. Oh, I can't believe that. I couldn't see where he went. I was looking over there at the tree stumps. And he was over there. And he ran up. That was very, very lucky that was. We've got torn clothing. Oh, I can't believe that. He's gone running over there. Is he going to come back this way? If he does, I'll be ready for him, and I will take him down. Is he coming back through? Doesn't appear to be. Right, let's let's leave him behind. We will go like that so that 
you know, we've got the close range attack. Oh, that did scare me, mind. <laughs> that did scare me. I, I could see him. I, well, I couldn't. I could hear him. I knew he was coming up, but I couldn't see where he was. Don't ever take anything for granted. As soon as I start taking things for granted, bad things happen to me. Very bad things happen to me. Just because I think I can take on a wolf doesn't mean I can. Uh, let me put that one away. And then... I know what we got to do over here. We've got to get the fire lit. So we want to go over this way. It's up here in the back corner. Up here. Right, I'm also going to want... Uh, Let's go. Just wondering if I should have. I'll have a little bit of the water there. A little bit of a drink. Is that gonna help us. Right. Yes. We've we've lost the overweight penalty at the moment. So we've got quality tools. We've got the heavy hammer. We've got the simple tools down there. So we're gonna want some coal. Three, four. I think I can use this. Five pieces of coal there. There's a couple of bits of reclaimed wood. Um, there's more reclaimed wood lying around here in places. We get some more of that. Oh, there's another piece right there. Something's got to go. I can hear noise. Something creaked. Not quite sure what it was that creaked, but something creaked and it made me feel nervous. Definitely made me feel nervous. There's the lantern that already expired. We've got more water in the toilet. Book. Yeah, that'll do. We've got several books, actually. There's some gloves there. Ooh. I want those for the leather. There's leather that we can get from those for um, using for some of the stuff. Uh, for, for burning. Uh, no, for repairing. Doing some repair work. Uh, another book there. The Forest Talker Fly. I already looked at that one. Another book. More gloves with leather. There. Right. Okay, I think that's everything that I'm going to need. Thing is, I need to get... Right, we start the fire in here, look. And I can go with that. That's a 90% chance of success there with one of those books. Oh, that's cardboard matches. Wood matches is 95. 10. Go with that lot there. Start fire. 95% chance of success. We ought to be able to do this. There we go. That should do it. That should do it quite nicely. Okay, we've got 16 minutes in here at the moment. Wait, what? Was that all I needed to do? Let's do this. Seriously, I just went and picked up all the, the fuel and everything. And now it's got the right temperature and it's all up to speed as it's got everything on it. I'm actually genuinely disappointed at that. I put that one away a minute. I'm just going to go to here and I'm going to go to that one. And I'm going to drop those. One, two, three. I'm going to drop the five. Drop all of that. And I'm going to drop those. One, two, there. So I'm now back underweight. I don't have any fuel for a fire. But I am back underweight here. So we've got coal. I've got reclaimed wood. Quality tools. Uh, heavy I'm hammer. Drop some gear. I'll take them as well. So there's a load. That's, that's just fuel and stuff there. Forge. Ah, right. I've clicked on it. It's it's just doing its loading thing. Just kind of stopped. There we go. So I've got the heavy hammer. I need two scrap metal. Let's get the two scrap metal a minute. Didn't I see some over this way? Let me get our light source back a minute. I don't mind using the light at all at the moment because we've got way more than we need. We've got a hacksaw there. We can go and cut up a load of scrap metal if we need to. But I've got a piece there. And I'm pretty sure there was another piece lying around here somewhere. So I don't need to use the hacksaw at all. Maybe I should. Yeah, go and take that hacksaw right there. I've got the metal shelf there. Um, really? 
all these things and I can't actually hacksaw them up. I've finally got the hacksaw and now everything I look at, it's not giving me the option to chop it up. I'm a bit disappointed with that. It's got to be said, I am a little bit disappointed. Pallets and crates and stuff here. Uh, chair. There we go. Six scrap. That's two and a half hours. Maybe not. There's a storm brewing out there. Big old storm brewing out there. That's uh, three bits of those. Can't break any of these down, but I could break down that. Just two and a half hours. We haven't done it. I haven't done it at all. So I will break down one because I've never actually done it at all. So there we go. We, we've broken that down. Um, I'm going to leave the other... I'll pick up that bit of scrap metal because what I'll do... There, metal pail, 15 minutes, one piece of scrap metal. Take you as well. Oh. You know, I'm thinking holding the lantern while I was doing that was actually a bit of a mistake. So I'll do that a minute because now my lantern has used up all its fuel. That was a, a rather foolish thing to do. We go to you. Actions. Refuel. I have got all of the fuel gone into it now, so I'm not carrying a load of additional fuel around. So that does mean that we've lightened the load a little bit. And I will dump the rest of the scrap metal once I've done this. There, I pressed E. I didn't need to press E. I wanted to do it like that. Estimated time, one and a half hours. Begin crafting. There Guess we I go. Can blacksmith to my growing list of skills. Yeah, um... Let's hope I don't have to put this spear to the test. Highly unlikely that you would be able to learn blacksmithing in that amount of time. Improvised knife. Ooh. Now we're talking. Here. Here. Improvised hatchet. I don't need that. Five scrap metal for that. Improvised knife. Three scrap metal. Three hours to make. Uh, the furnace is unlimited. Go back to the forge. Begin crafting. Takes the heavy hammer and three hours of time. We'll do that. We now have a knife. I've got two bits of scrap metal right there. Those I'm going to dump on the floor. Just down here. We've got to get back to Jeremiah now. So let me go into our bag there. And under crafting, I will leave the hatchet behind. Drop that one. And I will leave behind... No, I don't want to leave that. 0.75 kilos for you. You're not very light, are you? You right there, drop those two. How am I thir uh, 38 kilos? What am I? Oh, oh. Two kilos for that one. That one right there, quality tools for crafting and repair. What does that repair, though? What am I repairing with? I wonder if that's anything to do with their actions. I can harvest that. This one. Rifle cleaning kit. Uh, you right there. I can harvest. You right there. I can sharpen. 4% improvement. So I, I don't think that those... I don't think we have any use for those tools at the moment. So I will drop those. There. And I'll move over this side a little bit. And I will drop the other one as well. Go to you, and I'll drop those tools. Like that. So now down to 35 kilos of stuff. I've got flares. I've got rifle. I've got bullets. I am carrying that now. There's an extra three quarters of a kilo on that, which, you know, I've, I've lost the lantern fuel, but... Yeah, and then we look. I'm not carrying any excess on here. I mean, I have got a lot of matches. I've got... I got too many matches. That's what I got. Right. Well, there's the simple tools. So we'll go back over here. I'll t you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go with the campfire, go with the bedroll, put that one down there. I'm going to go to the drink. drink. 
I'm going to drink that one can there, and then I'm going to drink the rest of the water that I'm carrying that I can. Like that. And we're going to sleep for the night. Get a bit of much needed rest. I also need to make sure I eat a little bit. So I have a chocolate bar. That's all right. We're about halfway on our food. I think we're okay for food. If I... Don't risk it. Don't risk it with the food. Have a bit more. Before I go to sleep, have a bit more. We'll have the rusty pinnacle peaches right there. 16% on there. That's 450 calories for eating those. There we go. Right. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to go here and, yeah, I want to get rid of one of them. Like that. I'll go to sleep and I'll end up not being able to um, carry anything. Actually, we'll go nine hours of sleep. I ought to have made myself some Rishi tea so that I would recover a little bit better. We'll be all right. Um, I'd sleep and then I'd lose my non-hunger bonus. You know, that bonus, uh, I would have been all right, actually, looking at it. It seems that I would have been all right. Still night time at the moment, but we've got the, the furnace there busy working away. In the dark. That shit looks really cool by itself in the dark. Everything else looks terrifyingly spooky, but that looks really awesome. Anyway, uh, we want to... Well, I'm going to want to have a drink in a minute, but first up, we will go for... 34% uh, on that one. I'm going to eat all the way back up to full health. So that I'm not carrying around too much. I don't necessarily need to eat all the salty stuff that we've got at the moment. New tomato soup. Uh, the banged up pork and beans. I could warm that up and gain a bonus with it, but I don't actually need to. So I'm just going to eat it as it is, because that... You know, I thought the banged up pork and beans would have given us a little bit of extra moisture, not taken some away. That's all right. I'll drink a load of that. That's going to... What's that noise? I definitely heard something. Oh, it's just creaking of a building. You know what would be genuinely terrifying? The single most terrifying thing that would make me properly scream right now is as I lit the lantern, a small child just stood there in front of us, not saying anything. Maybe like the little girl from The Ring. Um, you know, the one with the black hair? You can't quite see her face. Just stood there, right in front of us, saying anything just as we light the lantern. I probably would just scream, right? Scream like a little girl. Absolutely, unashamedly, I would scream. And, yeah, I, I, I really would. Okay, we'll take all the water out of there. I love that we can drink toilet water in this game. It, it It's an immense... I don't know. It's just a thing of immense satisfaction for me that we can drink toilet water. It really does bring me an inordinate amount of pleasure that we can drink the toilet water. I don't know. I have no idea why. I, I really don't. I couldn't tell you why. But, uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's very pleasing. Now, we need to get back to Jeremiah. I've got no fuel on me. How much weight am I carrying? 32 kilos. I've got some water. Not a great deal, but I'm, I think I'm all right for water. So I could do with a little bit of fuel. I'm going to take a couple of those reclaimed wood. Coal, you've got to have the fire burning for an hour to be able to use it. We've got... I'm just trying to think of how far we got to go before it would be useful. I'll take those and I'll take another one of them. I, th I think it would be a good idea. We'll take a couple pieces of coal with us. I'm not going to take loads. And then I'm going to come over here. Uh, metal shelf, radio. No, that's not going to do us any good. And there's nothing over this side that I want, is there? No. Oh, leave shed. That, go that takes us outside, doesn't it? No, so it's not that one that I wanted to go to. I wanted to go... Oh, it was up here. 
is out this door here. That's where we leave the shed. Are we going to regret this? It's the outside. Uh, let's put that away now. And I'm regretting this already. You know what? I'm going to stand out. It's, it's cold out here. I'm going to go and stand inside where it's just a little bit safer. And I'm just going to very quickly check over. Because it's warm in here. We've now got the furnace going. Um, we ought to just check over our food, our clothing. Anything that is... Because we had some torn clothing, didn't we? That's on 85. The boots could do with some work. I have no leather. Oh, I know I got something for that, didn't I? I did. There. Driving gloves. Actions. Harvest those. That's ten minutes. And then I got another set of gloves as well, which had leather on them. And I can harvest those as well as these. And harvest there. Some more cured leather. That will allow us to repair our boots. Those are down to 75%. We definitely need to keep these repaired. These we want in tip-top condition. Actions, one leather, one cloth. That's going to take an hour. What? Fair enough. It is quite dark here. Uh, I've got a lot of matches here. 109 matches. We use the match. To get over this way. Back to the furnace. Oh, bedroll. Because we left the room, the and we, we forgot to take our bedroll with us. Uh, because we left the room, the furnace has gone out. Didn't think about that, did I? Can I relight the furnace? Forge. Furnace. Start fire. And we use one... I'm not carrying any books. All right, well, we'll use up an accelerant. 90%. 95%. That's with an accelerant. That doesn't feel right. Okay, fine. I will use another match. Cardboard match. Why aren't you lighting? Oh, because I already had them out. There. Like that, and pick up a book. Uh, back. There we go. Forge. Furnace. Start fire. I want to see if we can do this. So, cardboard matches. That's 95% on there. I'll use the accelerant, and I'll just use... You know, it doesn't really matter what I use. Um, I've got six accelerants, so we've got plenty of those. Does the furnace... Oh, it doesn't anymore. It no longer gives me an infinite forge. That was a one-off and I didn't use it. I should have used it. Right, can I see by that forge? Can, is that going to give me enough light to be able to mend, mend my clothing? Oops, no, I want to go there. Actions. Repair. Repair. Yes. And then I should have enough light now with the sun coming up to finish it off. Perfect. I have brand new mountaineering boots. And then I can go to you. So you could do with a bit of repair as well. 90, 100, 90, 90, 85, 90. Most of these are actually looking pretty good. It's just that one there could do with a repair. And then there was one other bit. Failed. How can you, you successfully repaired a pair of shoes and you can't cope with repairing a hat? That seems a bit much. And I've got no cloth left. Okay, fine. I've used up all of that. I've used up all of that. We'll put them away. It's time to go. It's time to go. I've dawdled around for long enough. I've messed around for long enough. I got a little bit of repairing done. Just while we waited for light. We now have light. Windproof storm lantern with mechanical igniter burns lamp oil. Yeah, we know that those are good. So I want to go to there and... Ooh. The bear spear. Right, well, I'm... Taking old faithful here. I 
don't hear a wolf at the moment. Very nervous about possible wolves. Didn't hear anything? I don't hear anything. I'm still nervous about possible wolves. Jeremiah, not Jeremiah, um, Jeremiah's who we've got to go back to. He's the name of the trapper. Um, it's uh, Methuselah. Methuselah was up here. Whether he's still up here is another matter entirely. And also, how do, how do we get back? Oh, I, went, I forgot to go and get that one. Um, I'm going to leave it for now. I've got a feeling we may end up having to come back over here anyway. At some point, I reckon we'll have to come back here. So I'm going to leave that one. I'm not going to worry about it. I want to get back to Jeremiah, and I want to see what's going to happen next. So we explored that. We, we looked at that vehicle. We left the, the boot open, the, the bonnet open, I should say. And where's my man Jerry? Not Jerry. Methuselah. Where is he? gone. It's just left. Uh, wait a minute. No, uh, we can't get through there, can we? we? We do have to go through this way. we seen the bear coming through here and he pushed us over. How do we get back out again? This is kind of the, the next big thing, is how do we get out of here? Because getting in here was... What exactly did he do? Um, how did I get out of there in the first place? Oh, look. Right, I think we're going to... Yes. Pretty sure this game... No! No, 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 no. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't let us balance up across here unless we were supposed to. But it's not letting me go up onto that one. I'm going to drop down and die. Because we can't jump. So I don't think I'm supposed to go up that way. Might be that I just carry on along. Yes, I'm carrying along here. Look, we've got stuff I... I, I can even pick things up. This stuff will come in handy. Yeah, that... Actually, probably will come in here. I'm going to pick that one up. But now what? We're going to there. Go down this way. Oh. Ah, right. So I can get through. Oh, and then I get back up like that. Okay, so it's actually a fairly straightforward run to get over there. Uh, cedar firewood. Could use this. I'll take that. Take that. I am likely to want a fire halfway back. We're losing a little bit of temperature. It's very likely that I will want some form of fire partway back. And I know that there's a whole load of harvest maple sapling. I don't want to. Um, yeah, the, we're losing temperature at the moment. So the, the wind chill is becoming a bit of a factor. I reckon at the poacher's camp, about halfway back through the next area, we're going to want to make a camp. Right now, our biggest concern is making it through without finding any wolves or psychotic bears. Psychotic bears are also a concern. I don't like them. We've gone down around there. Oh, I seen movement. I immediately feared the worst. It's okay. It's just a deer. I've killed one of them. I could have harvested 10 kilos of meat from it. We'd have been in meat for months. Except I didn't. I chose not to. I chose to be wasteful and just leave it there. So I will not kill again unless it is in self-defense or we need two for food. That is my plan. I am having to do it a lot for self-defense, mind. I'm having to do it a lot for self-defense. Can you hear anything? 
It's very slow going. We're walking into the wind, and I'm very aware of the fact that the wind is actually pushing against us quite strongly and slowing us down by a considerable amount. I'm actually quite surprised by the amount that the wind does affect our progress. I'm going to get over this now. Before, I had to go, yeah, I had to go down there and then back up this side, didn't I? Can I go up over the top of the landslide? Can I drop down over this way? I cannot. Ooh, maybe I can. Maybe I can get through. It would be very good if I could. Maybe that's what the rope was for. It was supposed to set the rope up here somewhere. So I could easily make it... Oh, no, we didn't. We we came up this way, didn't we? This this was this was how we got out. Definitely wasn't down there. But we can we can get out that way now. And then if we have to come back through again, we'll have to go a different way. Easy. He's really not... A, he's all right. This guy's all right for walking, but he's really not made for jumping, is he? He's really, really not made for jumping. Poor chap. Uh, mind you, I remember the original cutscenes. He did seem to be carrying a bit of extra weight. And the amount of food that we've been stuffing as we've been going through the wilderness, it wouldn't surprise me if he'd put weight on. There are some blokes who... Well, there, there are some people. They're not just blokes. Uh, there are some people who, it doesn't matter what kind of survival situation you put them in, they will put weight on. They will just bulk up. They will just get bigger and bigger. Doesn't matter. And they, they, they just look like they've been living like kings for months. Then there are other people who the mere suggestion of going hungry just waste away right in front of your eyes. And quite frankly, these days, um, the, the, the second option where you just waste away right in front of a person's eyes, society seems to think this is a good thing. I'm, I, I don't think this is a good thing, mainly because I'm, I, I fall largely under the second category and I, I've only got to think about food and I, I look like I'm ready for a hard winter. And, you know, many years ago this, this would have been an admirable quality. A very admirable quality. These days, apparently not so much. I should feel shame for how my body lays in supplies ready for hard winters. Apparently... I don't, I, I'm not buying into this. I'm, I'm not buying into this at all. Right, leave Broken Railroad region. We're going to continue on. So what I want to do is we're, we're quickly running out of time for today's episode. We need to continue on. The poacher's camp is all the way over there. That's actually a little bit further along than I would have liked. I want to get to that poacher's camp, and that's where I want to stop this episode. It's either got to be there, or I've got to stop it here. And... I'm wondering if maybe I should just stop here. We'll s no, we'll, we'll carry on. There, there was actually... I did have an incident between the poacher's camp in here, didn't I? There was one incident. Because there was a dead deer on the line, and there was a wolf eating it. And I did manage to take him out. He, that was where we found out that we could take down a wolf with a flare gun. That we could actually finish the little beastie off. Easy now. Easy does it. No sudden movements. I don't know that I want to be walking around on a lake. Uh, but what I do want is to gather up some more of this seed of firewood. Oop, too much. Now overweight. I want to gather up little bits of the cedar firewood just to get a, a fire going when we get to the poacher's camp because we're going to be wanting to warm up with it. At least that's my plan. Keep a steady lookout. What was that? I thought I heard the pitter patter of unfriendly feet. Pitter pattering their way towards me, but there was no such unfriendly feet. It was okay. It was all a figment of my imagination. 
There's nothing over there. Nothing ahead of me at the moment. Nothing over that side. There is a wolf on the track. You can see a wolf over there. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Stop complaining, you'll be fine. We have bigger fish to fry right now. Our scent is going to be carried downwind towards that wolf that I think is on the track. No, actually, I might just be seeing things. I am indeed seeing things. Because there is the wolf. We've already killed it. And it's still lying there, dead in the snow. And there are no others. No others have come along to devour his corpse. It is just him there alone. Right. Uh, just leave him. Just leave him. A little bit further to go. We can do this. We can get to there. We can get to that poacher's camp. It wasn't a wolf growling. It was the wind. Yeah, we're getting cold now. You see anything? Does anybody see anything? I don't yet. I'm waiting for like a pack of wolves to come running up, or worse, some sort of bear. So I, I heard somebody say that they managed to take down a bear, but it took three shots. Three! How have you got time to shoot the gun three times? you got to reload it in between every shot. Then. Nope, we're okay for a minute. Keep going and keep pushing forwards. This is the key. We got we got to get over to there. We're so close now. We're right up to the poacher's camp, just about. Crash train right there. And then our next episode, we'll be able to get back to... What's his face? Jeremiah. With the spear. And we can plan the next bit where we've got to take down this bear. We've got to take down this bear. There is another wolf right there. That's one we shot, isn't it? We shotted that one with our rifle, I think. I don't actually remember now. I really don't remember. But this is a wild and open tundra. Makes me feel very nervous walking around here. Everything is a wolf. I'm seeing wolves in everything. Tree stump, I see a wolf. And it's making me more and more nervous. I'm sure this game is not good for me. I'm sure this game is not good for me. It's like my nerves are going to be absolutely shot. I need something that's a, a little more relaxing. That's okay. We're fine. Just keep looking around. Okay, we're coming into the cabin, so um, I'm going to switch over to the flare gun. Closer combat. Just in case we get a wolf come up close. Try to tickle our liver. We might be able to just get him to swallow one of these instead. There we go. Right, we've made it in here. We are safe. We can hide. I'll get the fire lit. In a minute, we'll do that probably the beginning of the next episode. But anyway, that is all we've got time for today. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.